Hello and welcome back to a brand new series. And this is a series that kind of was born out of what we've been going over the last few months. We've talked about the will of God for your life, for my life. We've talked about being on fire for God, which is very important. But this almost came out of those other two things. And I really want to impress it upon your heart, especially in this age that we live in. It's something we all need. It's something that I hope is a blessing to you. And uh, it has been to me as well. And that is a new series on the peace of God. We never need peace. It's today, right? But people are constantly fraught with fear and anxiety and turmoil in their own heart. And sometimes not even on the surface level, deep beneath. But what do you do? And how do you live in a world that has been so gripped with fear? The answer is simple. But we often miss it. I'm going to read you a portion of scripture, Philippians chapter 4, very quickly. It says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. It's a beautiful verse. The peace of God that passes all understanding. The very first thing I want to teach you about the peace of God is the reality the reality of the peace of God. You have to understand that it is the peace of God that passeth all understanding. It is supernatural. It is not something that's normal. It is not something that is easily obtained or even attainable at all on our own. You can't have it. And you will not have it. And neither will I unless it comes from God alone. It is supernatural. It goes beyond what we understand. Because so many times in the scriptures, we've seen men and women with the peace of God in their heart where there should be no peace in a jail cell, in a lion's den, in a cave, on a cross. It doesn't make sense to be a person who doesn't have this grip of fear when fear is literally everywhere around them, but that is the peace of God that passes all understanding. You have to understand that to have the peace of God, it comes from him alone. And see, our society, our world spends millions of dollars trying to find the answer for their fear. Seminars, books, therapists, psychiatrists, medication, a lot of medication to try to solve this problem of anxiety and doubt in their minds. But it'll never come to pass because, see, those things are within our understanding. We understand a pill. We understand the science of it. We understand a seminar or a book. But, oh, no, the peace of God. That is something beyond our knowledge, beyond our comprehension, because it comes from something that is beyond our understanding. It comes from God. You have to understand, if you want true freedom from fear, from anxiety, from this pain, it can only come from God. Stop trying to find it in friends, in, how do I say this in a nice way, through decisions that you think will better your life, like a great career, or money, or children, or spouses. You won't have it. Because the temporal things of this world will not bring peace or satisfaction to your heart, especially when you're in a time of fear, as we live in now. The only way you're going to find the peace of God, the supernatural peace of God, is going to the source. And that is him. A few verses before, it said to rejoice in the Lord, to always be careful for nothing, but in everything, let your request be made known to God. You have to seek God to obtain his peace. Do you want to live a life not always free from fear? Sometimes you're going to be afraid. And God knows that. He says, fear not. But you want to live a life that is free from the bondage of fear? You can have it. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that can only be found in him. If you want the peace of God, if you want to be free from the burden of fear, you have to ask him. You have to seek him and his word. 
and it can be yours, and it can be mine as well. But only through that, you cannot find peace. You cannot find security. You cannot find rest in the natural things. The reality is that peace can only be obtained by the supernatural, by God himself. But the good news is, you can have it, and so can I, if we seek his word and we seek him in prayer. That's the reality. And we'll catch you next time. I pray the series will be a blessing. And until then, always praying for you, lifting you up always. God bless and thank you.